my friends, it's time for a new project. And we are doing Speed Buggy, a Data East. Uh, she's complete, but cabinet is a little bit rough. Looks like it sat somewhere and got, to, uh, got just a little bit damp but I think uh, she swelled up right along the edge of course but you know we'll get rid of all that and we'll go back as far as we need to to get to a good sawdust board whatever we got to do um, problem I well, from the looks of it, it looks like a couple of the levelers, leveler, levelers broke off of it. Yeah, especially on this side, and then it sat down right, right on the floor, somewhere where it was just a little damp, because this side's worse. But we can, well, we were going to be able to fix it. Yeah, now we have more work to do since it just fell off my dolly. Okay, let's I'll show you the damage. Tore the back completely off and busted the neck off the tube. And she's all wiggly wobbly now. So now I'm going to have to decide what I want to do with this. May end up right over there in the burn pile. After I pull everything out of it, of course. Chassis, when the chassis came loose. But I think she's pretty much junk now. Yeah, see she's separated all the way down through now. Yeah, too bad. But, you know, shit happens. Not much you can do. Pull the control panel. Pull all the boards out of it. I don't think. Oh man, look, yeah, she even knocked the board set loose out of it and probably screwed up the board set. Oh well. Hm. Not good, folks. All right, yep. I have to, I'll look it over some more and decide what to do with it. Like I said, probably gonna end up pitching it. Yeah. And broke the back panel <laughs> okay the next day <clears throat> uh, I got all the it's time to take off all of our clamps uh, so we can start working on a few of the other areas that got a little beat up we still need to get our top done and that one back piece now that one back piece I have sitting over here uh, this is one where the fan I cleaned up that fan you can see I don't think that was 
getting very good ventilation, but uh, when I opened the cabinet, it wasn't hooked up anyway. So I'm gonna, I'll test that fan out and see if it's any good. If it's any good, I want to keep it in here, you know, just for ventil ventilation. Okay, uh, this one was uh, split right in the middle, and I really don't want to make a new one. You know, we're not going for restoration. If we were doing a full restoration, yes, I would just make a brand new panel. But this one has our uh, Data East and everything on it, our tag down below. So I'd kind of like to keep it. So I'm going to, uh, my thinking is here, is just putting braces Putting braces across here, along the bottom, and along the top. And that way we can still mount our fan. Uh, I had thought about putting uh, just a whole piece of plywood up on here and cut the hole out. Which would probably be better because it would make the whole thing stiffer. And I think that has a lot to do with keeping that back stiff because that's the only thing that's back there. The door doesn't do doodly squat and then there's that little piece at the bottom that doesn't do anything. But here's the other, my other idea was to just go ahead and put a whole piece of plywood over it, you know, cut it to size, cut our hole for our fan and then just screw this, glue it and screw it. But uh, I kind of like that idea better. So we'll see what I do. I think I'll probably just go with putting that piece of plywood over it. Be a little heavier. This is like 3 8 or whatever that, or supposed to be half, whatever that new plywood is. Can't keep up with it. They keep shrinking it more and more. But... But we, what we knew, what we, what we, what we knew, what we do, knew do to do is get these clamps off of it and see if it's, uh, see if everything's holding like I hope it is. So let's get these clamps off and that'll give us a little more room to get around this thing too and work on the back. And I still need to, haven't been too worried about uh, vacuuming it out until we get all of our work done. I'm gonna have a, a pile of clamps, that's for sure. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Okay, here's the one I'm really really concerned about is this one on the butt. My big pipe clamp. Now can't see anything down there yet anyway. Aha! It did. It squoze it together and it's holding. Good. I have clamps everywhere, that's for sure. Okay, now, get these front ones off. some creaking. Okay, that's holding all down through there. And so is that. Cool. Feels pretty good too. I think we're Yep, we still got to get this piece here. Still got to get this piece in. 
that will stiffen the top up. So, okay. So far it looks good. Alright, let me uh let's let's work on that back panel first. Let's get that done so we can I'll clean up my mess here and we'll get that back panel done. Okay, got my panel cut that we're gonna repair this with. And we're just gonna stick him right down in there. We're gonna glue it and screw it. Uh, you can see I did cut this a little shorter, or not shorter, but narrower, because this is angled, so our roof comes up, and I just didn't want to have a problem, so I just cut cut it just a little short, a little narrow. Uh, you can see our grain's running this way, so that's where all our strength is on plywood, and I'm just going to drill some pilot holes. So we don't split the plywood. Right through here is our crack. So I'm going to put one on either side of it. My screws are long enough to go through this plywood. So we don't have to worry about countersinking our screws. Okay, we got that ready. off of it. Now I'll work on getting these out later. I want to get this stiffened up because I don't want to destroy what we do have. I did set this down and pound on the end to, to squeeze up our gap as much as possible. And then all we're going to do gonna get some of this here fun stuff on here because we want it as strong as possible. It may end up being stronger <laughs> than what it was. Okay, this guy goes down on like that. Right?
Okay, I gotta go wash my finger off. Okay, now we'll run some screws down through it. Clamp it all together. We'll start here in the middle. Always know you're getting tight enough when you see glue starting to ooze out and scush. Makes it a little heavier, <laughs> but we know it's not gonna. We know it'll give us a lot of support now for that upper piece and support the top of the cabinet a lot better. Plywood won't bust like this sawdust board. I call it sawdust board, some sort of particle crap. All right, now we have got to let that set up for a little bit anyway before we can start putting it on. All right, guys. Now uh, I have to put this top top on before I put the back on. For the simple fact is, uh, it's easier to put that top on now instead of putting this piece on here and then having to reach reach up inside and do that. So. We're gonna put. I just have this test fit. I just wanted to make sure it was okay, and it's gonna gonna work. And then we can. Now we need to put it on. Then we can put our back on and get that done. So I'll, uh, it's kind of hard to back in here. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of room here at the in the garage at the moment, so mm. it's kind of like uh, we got to work back here in a hole. Uh, I'm gonna pull this out a little bit further, and I'll get you set up, and then we'll get that put on. Okay, you know the routine: glue and screw. my nozzle plug up. Oh, it helps if you open it. Now since the edge is raw, I'm gonna put some some glue. Oh, oh shit. Oops, sorry. I'm going to put some glue on the side as well. So when I clamp it all together, when I clamp it all together, I can keep the top. You can see, like I said, see we got a raw, raw edge here.
Now it's down just about about a quarter, well not a quarter, but about an eighth of an inch. drilled most of those this time. good. Now, like I said, I pre-drilled a bu bunch of these. And hopefully I can get to all of them. All but the can't get up in here with my screw gun my screw shooter so I'm gonna have to go down through the top and which will be okay because nobody's gonna see it here hold anything in this some of my glue. Alright, now let's test fit our back. And hopefully 
it fits. Yep. It's gonna fit. So I got the screen and fan on there. Okay, so let's let me answer a text. And then we'll put that back on. All right. I uh, got that taken care of. Now we can get this glued up. Mm, uh, let me. No, let's put it on the on the cabinet. big goobers of it. On the outside. And I don't, I don't know if I can get this up here. But you can see this top edge is was glued as well. I don't know how tight if we're going to be able to get it up tight enough to actually do any good or not but we're gonna we're gonna try it start down a little bit to get that up a little bit tighter.
too deep. That one I may have to have to move that one. See, I can't get in there. So we are going to have to... We will get it from the outside. it in. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, already. That one's done. I pre-drilled these ones. So, ah, uh, you're going to Got to pre-drill those other ones on the other side. If I would have, ah, I've been thinking about it. While we could have got at it, I could have got those ones done. Now. That's pretty good. up our mess. Mess there. And I thought I seen another run. Uh, yeah, right, right there. Where our door goes on. Our dork. Just for the sake of, because I can. There we go. Now she's just about all glued, screwed, and tattooed. And hopefully it stiffens it up. Yeah. <laughs>